All right, let's talk about getting, making sure that your underlying Slack Salesforce integration is all in good order before you start messing with screen flows in Slack. Uh, because if it's not, you will have a bunch of headaches. So here are the things to look for. You know, step one, do you have Salesforce for Slack app installed in the Slack account of the Slack user who is going to execute the screen flow. Every Slack user that you want to run screen flows has to make sure that they have the Salesforce for Slack app. And furthermore, and furthermore, when you click on Salesforce for Slack and click on home, you don't want to see a connect button here. You need to be connected. Uh, this is what it looks like when you've installed the app, but you haven't connected it to an org. And that's really, that's sort of the, the, the key linkage is every Slack user has to install the Salesforce for Slack app and then connect their Slack account to a Salesforce org and a specific Salesforce login. So generally, a Slack user will click connect and then they'll log into Salesforce and that will create a user mapping. So that's the next thing to look for. User mappings are not found in setup because they are handled by individual users. They're found in user settings. So if you are trying to use a particular uh, Salesforce user and Slack user combination, make sure that, that when you go to Slack user mappings, which is down here, all the way at the bottom uh, in user settings, what you will expect to see here is one of these mappings. Now what these mappings do, they're created when you click that connect button. What these mappings do is for a particular workspace, keep in mind that pretty much everything I'm talking about has to be done for every workspace because because in a lot of ways, workspaces are all their sort of individual universes. So for a particular workspace, a particular Slack user is mapped to this running Salesforce user. And one of the reasons why these user mappings are so important is that at least in winter 23, the only way to send a flow to an individual is by using the record ID of their Salesforce user. If you recall in the chapter one example, that's what we did here. This is a Salesforce user record ID. Yeah, even though this says Slack conversation ID right now, this is not a Slack conversation ID. And you cannot use, there's no conversation ID that will give you the behavior that, that I, uh, you want in most cases, which is to have, be able to send the screen flow to an individual. Now, if you are sending, if you want to send a screen flow to a group channel, then you use the Slack conversation ID which is essentially the same thing as the channel ID. So right here, for example, channel for Eric four has this channel ID. So if we go back and replace this, There it is. So if you're sending to a group channel, use the conversation ID that you can find here. 